Have this feeling, feeling Haven't felt for so long Took a hold of me and won't let go I've been sleeping Caught me off my guard Cause you're in my space and now I'm so Hold me towards you and I cannot fight it Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Lacey. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I made these really cute adorable and really easy cash envelope. If you guys are interested in learning more about the cash envelope system that I'm using to budget, let me know. And if there's a lot of people that really want to see how I'm doing it, um, I would be more than happy to do more videos like this. I am saving for a lot of things and I really need to get serious about my budget. <laughs> about my budget. So uh, if I have these and they look pretty, I'm more likely to use them. So you want to get really cute scrapbook paper that you absolutely love and this is 12 by 12 and then pick out the ones that you want to use and then you want to fold them in half. I like to do three at a time and you'll see why here in a second. And you want to mark them to be seven inches wide and three and a half inches tall. And then I'm just using my paper trimmer to trim it. You gotta be kind of aggressive with the paper trimmer because this is pretty thick paper. So go a couple times, make sure that it's all the way off there. And then I'm gonna put them in a laminating sheet. Now to maximize the use of the laminating sheet, I'm gonna do three. So I'm gonna put the seams facing upwards and then the open part is gonna be facing down. And then in order to fit three of them on here, I'm gonna put the third one across and then I'm gonna have the open part facing downwards. And then I'm just going to run it through my laminator. I love this laminator. It was probably the best like $15 I've ever spent. And because this is scrapbook paper, it's a little bit heavier than normal paper. I'm going to have it on the 5 mil setting on my laminator as opposed to the 3. And then I'm just going to use some scissors. You can also use your paper trimmer, but honestly, every time I use my paper trimmer, it's never even because I can never put the envelopes in there evenly. So I'm just going to trim around it and just trim off the excess. And then what I'm going to do is where the seam is at, I'm going to be very careful not to open that seam. And then where the open part is, I'm going to make sure that I get as close to where it was open as possible because that's going to be where we're going to put the money into. So we want it to be open. So I'm going to cut close to the edge of that and then I'm going to cut around all the excess off of the other three sides, not getting as close as I did on the other one because we don't want that laminator sheet to pop open and expose it. So I like to round the edges so it's not sharp. I printed off my labels just using a regular piece of paper and I'm going to laminate that sheet and then I'm just going to trim off the excess with my paper trimmer and then I'm just going to stick that onto my envelope on the bottom left hand corner using some glue dots that way I can change it out whenever I need to. So, Like I said I have a fall shop with me and DIY that's going to be up soon and a couple other videos so thank you guys so much for watching I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Mala, Shakala, 20 inch rims. Oh man, make it rain. Make it rain. Make it rain. I need these.